Hello. Hi. Do you like that uh, I explain you G minus two experiment? Sure. Okay. Look, how do you, how do you can imagine? Obviously, this experiment is quite a difficult experiment. What you have to do really is to make an uh, to improve the accuracy of the old G minus two experiment of a factor of twenty. Uh, how do you know that all G minus two experiment was yet reaching an accuracy of five ten to minus six in the G factor? So you have to increase a factor of twenty. And that is not really easy. We extract proton from the ring. We put it through the uh, into the storage ring, and we produce pion inside, and we produce muon inside. The pion decay muon. We accept muon. The muon are lifted, shifted, respect the orbit of the pion, and they are permanently stored inside. You see, and when the muon, after some time, they decay. Yes, I don't understand anything. Look. I tell you one question, it's very easy, let's come, in, let's come inside, I'll show you the black body, it's very easy, really. Look, I tell you in more easy way, um, there, there is a contribution, a virtual interaction of the, of the gamma with, uh, with, with, with rho. We can, we like to show you, let me tell you again, that, uh, uh, that is an electromagnetic field, the muon interacts with electromagnetic field, and uh, emit virtually a gamma. That gamma could be coupling with a rho or phi of omega. So what we like, what we like to, to, sh to show in, in this experiment, to reach a level of accuracy where we can uh, verify uh, the existence of these processes. I don't understand that. Ah, look, uh, how can I tell you more easily? Oh, let me, let me ask you. Oh, Francis. That is Francis Fowler. Oh, yeah. That he starts the project. He's my really? boss. I go. Samash. Samash. Uh, so could, you, could you explain, let's Francis? Um, the, um... Nice. Don't wipe these things out. Okay. This is a ring magnet. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And we have a target in the ring. And we come in here with 10 GV protons. And this produces pions. Yes. And the pions start to go around the ring. Yes. Now, on the way round, the pion turns into a mu plus neutrino, and the mu... John, why don't you tell him about that? Well, you have these muons flying around here, and what we want to see is what direction the muon is pointing. To start with, the muon is pointing in this direction. That's why it goes many times around here, and then you see it's pointing that way. Now, how do we tell that it's pointing this way, because it hasn't got a no, little arrow on it? Yeah. Can you you explain about how we detect the electron coming from it. Ah, yeah, of course. Uh, what happens is this. The muon, when it turns around, fires an electron, like a cowboy firing his gun. Bang, bang, see? So uh, a single muon fires at random. You can't tell where you know the, every, the oh, electron moment, will go. You know that muon have the key electron. Yeah. I don't ah, understand well, anything. Well, like, you know what an electron is. It's anything. what you see in a television. Well, right? Let's go down and see the muon start. Okay, let's and go. then you may understand let's better. Let's go, let's go now. Let's go down. Hey, 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 no, 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 you want to see oh. this muon ring? In which direction the muon is pointing? Not a single muon, but if you have a thousand muons, you can either say they're all pointing that way or they're all pointing that way. This is very easy because uh, a single muon is like a drunken cowboy who, when he fires his gun, goes bang, bang. This is quite random, you see. But if you look at a thousand drunken cowboys and they're all firing, you notice that on the whole, most of the shots go that way and not so many go that way. There's a slight bias for it, right? Now, you have all these drunken cowboys who, who, which are racing past at high speed this time. And since they're going 